Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today they promised us sunshine. Well, we got a little bit of sunshine when I was still in bed, but when I got up the sunshine disappeared and it's been a really gloomy day all day. Oh. And it did rain there for a little bit. It like big alligator drop droplets came down. The chickens all ran and I thought, what the heck? And then I saw that it was raining. I had um, Silver Fox was out with her babies, and the baby babies have been going in and out of the out of the out of the fence. And Brownie is out at the moment. She has flown in and flown out, and then she'll I don't know what she's going to do, but she'll come in I'm sure. And I had to block. Now this is crazy because every night I look in to see who's in the nesting box, and Emma is not on her babies but the but Dorothy and her babies are sitting on the eggs and I'm thinking how does that happen because Emma usually is very very um stern about where she is at and who can bother her and to think that Dorothy got her to move off of her eggs for I don't know three or four nights now so today I took I have the little door that goes to my dog kennel that I took off when I put the when I give the chickens the dog kennel I take the door off so that they can get in and out without the door accidentally shutting well I used that gate and I blocked where Emma was and Dorothy looked at it and walked away looked at it and walked away and then finally she took the nesting box right next to Emma and her babies all seven babies came up in and they've been sleeping in the little little um house instead of in the dog house so that's where they're at and i think i don't know where the babies are i don't know where rosie is and i think his name is going to be andrew because he's a boy i can tell he's a boy <laughs> instead of annie he's going to be <clears throat> andrew um i think they were in the enclosed run i'm not sure i didn't look before i sat down Today I watched some videos. I did answer my comments, but I watched some videos, but I was also crocheting, trying to crochet as I'm watching videos. So I would watch the video for a while, have to stop the video so I could start. I had two iPads. I had one iPad here and one iPad here, and then I Chromecast the person I was watching to the television. And I um, would stop the video so that I could hear and then start up the crochet one because I'm trying to do this little um, unicorn and it's ending up awfully big. In fact, the body, I had the body done and I go, my body doesn't look like his body. So I undid it, unraveled it and did it again and the second time it looks like it's supposed to, but the head is so big. I'm almost thinking maybe I have to do the head over. I'm not sure. And I was working on the legs today, but the legs are pretty big, so maybe it is a big giant, a big um, unicorn. And then I found another video that was going to show how to make a unicorn, and hers was tiny and cute. That's the size I thought I was going to be making, not this big thing. So I will finish the one I'm on, and then I'm going to try and do that. But that's what I did today. And the video is only an hour and like 20 minutes long. Well, <laughs> that's a laugh. Because I've been working on it since, oh gosh, probably noon till just a little bit ago. And that's probably five hours worth of, of working on it. And I still am not done. So it takes a whole lot longer than what they show in the video to do this crocheting of these little animals. I'm trying to make these characters. Um, but I don't know if I'll get it done. I only got the one done, the bear done, a while back. I've only done one, and that, and if you look at his legs, they're not even the same. They're kind of off, so you can tell it's a homemade little toy because it's definitely not uniform. Who is it that wants the unicorn? Paige wants a unicorn. She 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 actually sent me a message in Messenger. She said, mm. "This is the one I want, and I can't find that pattern at all." So I thought, well, I will look for a different unicorn, one that's kind of cute, and I will try to make it and. The sad part is, too, the unicorns are all white. I don't have any white yarn, I'm so I'm making mine yellow <laughs> with, I don't know what other colors it'll have. It'll have rainbow colors of different kinds because they have things on their head and their tail has 
rainbow colors. It's sort of like the Rainbow Bright unicorn, I think, is if you remember Rainbow Bright doll, the unicorn that was with the show. Yeah, Rainbow TV Bright show. TV show. What my kids had the Rainbow Bright doll, mm -hmm. and they had the they had the unicorn too. They had that, but I don't know where that is now. If we even have it, because one day when we had a lawn sale, I've had two lawn sales in my life that I actually put these things out and there was the home for the um, handicapped and I think it's handicap home. I don't know, but it's one of the homes that is nearby. They were going to have a parade and they were going to have an animal parade and they were looking for stuffed animals and so I just gave a whole bunch of stuffed animals away that I had because we don't need them. I don't even know where they all came from. I've only bought I only bought a monkey and a bear and Molly doll for Emily because Emily liked comfy couch and so I bought Molly doll for her. And the monkey was because at, um, when we were in the store Jessica used to like to hold toys as we walked around the store so I used to let her hold it and when we were ready to leave she used to put it back. Well this monkey she refused to put back. She really wanted that monkey. So we bought the monkey. And that monkey used to go camping with us and he used to travel wherever we went, that monkey went. Well, one time we were camping and she had her monkey and then all of a sudden we couldn't find her monkey. So I called the campground to see if maybe she left it on the camp, on the table, the picnic table at the site that we were at and it wasn't there. Come to find out she had it in the camper. So we did, we still have that monkey. <laughs> It's a cute monkey, but it look it's looks it's years now because Jessica is thirty eight. Yes, she's thirty eight, and that monkey was when she was probably three years old, somewhere in there when she was that age is when she got the monkey. Well, that's it for today. It's a little longer than yesterday. I'm sorry about yesterday. I had really nothing to tell you, and there's no sense in trying to make something up when you have nothing to say. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Hope you had a great day and hope you had sunshine. We, the weatherman lied to us. He gave us just a smidgen in the morning and that, the rest of the day was kind of blase. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. You have a great day or great night, day, night, whatever it is. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.